Hey guys, Nancy here. So I'm sitting out on my back porch to do this because my family is still not on board with this whole coronavirus outbreak. I live in Denton, Texas, suburb north of Dallas, Fort Worth. It, today is February 29th, 2020, and I uh, have been watching for the past week endless YouTube uh, news streams and various uh, accredited doctors that, that read the peer reviews and then medical journals about what's going on with coronavirus. And I, frankly, I think it's a big deal. I stocked up on a few things. Um, I didn't go overboard, but just, just a few things. Um, one box of masks, uh, some nitrile gloves. I think I got size large for my husband and I and my son. Um, and then I got some smalls for my daughters. I also got uh, rice and beans. I think um, the huge kind that you get at Sam's Club, just the biggest one you can get of rice and beans. I have several canned goods because I always forget about them, so I already stocked up there. Um, I do take one prescription medicine, and just by luck, my pharmacist or my doctor ac accidentally called it into one pharmacy, and I said, That's the wrong pharmacy. I don't use that one. So then she called it into the correct pharmacy. Well, uh, just the timing was perfect on this. I went ahead and picked up. Um, the farm, the, my prescription from a three month supply from my regular pharmacy. And then, uh, then I thought, I wonder if that prescription that she called into the wrong pharmacy, if it's still there waiting on me. And sure enough, it was. So I went and picked that up as well. So I'm stocked with six months supply of um, my, my one prescription medicine that I take. I, I have heard that quite a bit, I, mean, I should say I haven't heard, but I have read and learned that 80% of our um, pharmaceuticals and um, just over-the-counter medicines, part of the manufacturing process is primarily done in, in China. Um, also India, I heard, but even India can't um, finish their manufacturing process of pharmaceuticals without some elements of what um, China has to offer. So um, again, today's February 29th. I'm predicting that by um, mid-April, we will probably have a shortage on several um, our, of our standard pharmaceuticals and possibly some over-the-counters. So that's another thing I did stock up on as well. Um, I got um, just a, the large count of ibuprofen, and then I also got some um, um, sorry, acetaminophen, just to have, just for, for comfort in case you know someone, in, in case we do end up quarantined or or we run out of these these things and just need them in our home. Um, what else? I know I'm forgetting something I was just gonna say as well. Hmm, sorry. I'm 43, so kind of have 42. That's right. Thanks, Charlie. I'm a 12 year old. Um, yes, I'm 42, so I have a brain lapse from time to time. Um, in the past seven days, as I've been just um, learning more and more about the coronavirus. I find it very fascinating. Uh, COVID-19, I should say, just the way this, this virus works and the way it's just, you know, definitely a man-made virus, a lab-made virus, I should say. It's, it's very smart um, the way it gets in your body. There's so much that we still don't, don't know about it. And unfortunately that uh, we'll learn more after more people are infected or are sick. I think here in in the United States, today begins uh, probably the day where several people will start waking up to this virus and how how it is a big deal. 
and um, um, maybe start start doing their preparations just in case um, you have to, to hole up in your house for six weeks or so. Um, I predict that in August or September, things will start going back to a little bit of normalcy, but I think it's gonna be a weird summer. Um, so, you know, you heard it first here in Denton, Texas. If you have any questions for me, um, just subscribe and stick them in the comments and I'll try to answer. Like I said, I have um, some of my favorites. That's what, I, that's what I was gonna say before. I have some of my favorites um, that I've been following here on YouTube. Um, I've noticed that a, a lot of people are following, um, let's see, Medcram. He is a doctor that gives very, very good, non-fear-mongering type information about this virus. Um, Paul Cottrell, I subscribe to him. He's a little over the top for me, but I, I still um, search in the comments and I'm able to learn some things. I think one big thing that all of the sites that I'm, I'm getting my information from is missing is um, and people are saying buy bleach, buy hydrogen, a food grade hydrogen peroxide, buy, um, I think it's ACE2 inhibitors like a Prevacid, um, things like that. But I, I think people are, are overlooking a lot of the homeopathic and uh, the essential oils. Uh, I, for instance, they're saying that bleach is, is just selling out. Well, you know, I am not a, um, a young living distributor. Well, I guess I am a distributor, but I just bought some stuff for myself. Um, but I, I think thieves oil would probably be one of the best things I can do. As a matter of fact, uh, my kids laugh at me, but right now, every time we go into public, I make them, I, I have this thieves oil type of Vaseline salve that I, I make them put around their nose holes, um, around their mouth, and then use the rest of it just to sort of wipe under their fingernails. Um, and of course, hand washing. They're sick of me telling them to wash their hands. I personally have been washing my hands so much that all of my cuticles are around my nails are, are peeling, my skin is so dry. But um, all that to say, there's a lot of things that we could do that are just intelligent. Um, yeah, hopefully this whole thing will blow over and be nothing. But if it isn't, I think the best thing to do is just do a little bit of prepping. And um, if the worst thing that comes of this is that my family needs to eat <laughs> rice and beans uh, two times a week for the next 15 years, then gosh, that would be great. However, I, I don't think that's going to be the case. I did read somewhere that was pretty um, spot on with all of the other information that when we look back historically at, at this time that we're in right now, all of us will know someone personally who, who dies from this virus. Um, and at this point, from what I can see and from, from what I hear about um, the possibility of a vaccine, um, I, I think that it could be true. So, you know, start, um, Start stocking up on some, some good things right now. Um, yeah, but that's all I have for today. Um, I'll, I'll check back in tomorrow to see if there's any, any questions or um, comments that I can, I can help out with. Stay healthy.